This is Stratton. If you're interested in technology news in Africa and beyond, then this is the right channel for you to subscribe. So we have talked about Omefe before here several times and the last video that we were able to make about how we were talking about we are trying to answer the question why she looks creepy to some people i will be able to leave a link to the video here so that you can be able to go and watch it but now the ceo and chairman of uncom group of companies has confirmed that there is version 2.0 and the way that is being developed he confirmed this on his interview at arise news i want you to watch it it's an ongoing research uh, which we will likely see in uh, version two, uh, whereby she's uh, self, uh, uh, a kind of uh, sufficient in terms of energy. Uh, you don't even need to keep charging the batteries or, or need any other source. So the energy system will be built inside of her and uh, she would regenerate current to charge herself. So it's a research going on in the clean energy uh, projects we're doing. Now, for those who think that she looks creepy, you must expect her to look much better in version 2.0. Remember that also the Nigerian government has confirmed that it will be it will invest more into this type of technology, especially in Africa since at the moment i think it's only nigeria that is doing this there is also there is also one in south africa but maybe it is still in, de in development it has not yet been confirmed but when we speak about omefe we are not only talking about the humanoid robot there is also another aspect of her being able to communicate in uh, african languages with the african pronunciation so if you say like you are speaking you say you understand Igbo and you're speaking to a person who knows Swahili instead of you communicating in English you can just be able to communicate in Igbo and they communicate in their language Swahili and Omefe works as a translator but the good thing about it is she will be able to translate the language with that African pronunciation which at the moment something like Google Translate is unable to do google translate or any other if you use online translators or say the voice narrators or text to speech voice narrators they pronounce their words based on the european languages and english as well whenever it comes to any african language or any african name or say any city in africa or any place or any name of a place in africa and they're trying to pronounce it it always sounds awful to give you an example i'm going to type this sentence in google translate then i'll do make it to make the voice about the same so the sentence reads ngombe amekula mbogazote ngombe amekula mbogazote which is to means that uh, a cow has eaten all the veggies so of course you heard how awful that sounded when it was trying to pronounce it but when it comes to omefe this is gonna sound much better i mean it's gonna sound african and that's why they want to launch this as a business on its own the voice product will be launched as a business on its own so that you can be able to download it and install in your phone as an app and you can be able to use it instead of say using google translate or you if you're into online content that that you don't make in english you make using maybe your african language you can be able to use omefe as a voice narrator or text to speech and she will sound much better your people will be able to understand her so what they're saying is when it comes to the humanoid they will have the humanoid part of the robot the physical part as well as a product but the voice product where you can just be able to use it as a service on your phone is gonna come out earlier and maybe next year by next year it might be available i want you to listen to this again on the same interview at arise news where the ceo and chairman of unicorn group of companies was talking about the same
Ife launched, uh, we, we gave some insights uh, on her line of pro uh, products. Uh, it depends on the line of product we're talking about. Omefe is not just all of, in fact, the physical hardware of Omefe is just one line of product. Uh, we said today there's uh, Omefe as a service whereby you can get to use Omefe even on your phone, depending on the use case. And we also uh, uh, hinted about the uh, voice chat. Yeah, we are very used to uh, the chat bots, you know, but now you can talk about voice bots. Uh, and we can also talk about identification as a service. So it's all about consuming the memory or using the intelligence of Omefe to carry out so many tasks and, and solve so many problems without having the physical hardware. So uh, we have given the different words. Now, of course, if we base on this and given that the Nigerian government has stepped in, it means version 2.0 of the physical robot when it comes out, it's gonna be much better and much much better by far so for those who found this earlier version to be a little creepy the next version is gonna be much better i mean they're gonna to they're going to try to improve it maybe when and when she talks the movement in the jaws will be more visible i mean will be more human like and her eyes might also be rolling so we should expect the next version to be much better and for now i'm gonna end it here there's more about the interview that we'll try to talk about later and like i said don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in technology news this is the place where you will be able to find for the first time anything happening in africa in terms of technology thank you